Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I thought I'd take a look at the uh, new uh, Linux Mint 18, Sarah. Uh, it just came out in beta. It's available in Mate, and it's available in Cinnamon. I downloaded the Mate version, and that's what you see here. Now, a couple things I noticed. Number one, during the install, the um, my Broadcom drivers were not available to me. So I had to plug in an Ethernet cable in order to access Wi-Fi to do the install. Now, <clears throat> other distributions lately um, are making the move towards making Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers available right out of the box. Uh, MX15, uh, I tried a couple of Debian uh, distributions. I think there were uh, uh, one or two Ubuntu distributions that um, recognized the Broadcom right out of the box. Linux Mint does not. And I, <clears throat> I would expect that with a distribution this new, cutting edge, um, that it would recognize Broadcom. So I uh, end up, ended up doing the install with an Ethernet cable. Now, I have not installed any drivers um, as of yet. And the reason I did, didn't do that is because I wanted to go through an experiment here. Uh, if I click on drivers, it will, <clears throat> it has to update the cache, and so it requires Ethernet. Um, Broadcom is recommended, as you can see here, Broadcom. Uh, however, um, it is not, as I mentioned, it's not configured. If I want to do my NVIDIA and my Broadcom, I am assuming since this firmware B43 and the legacy, these are not require th these require a connection to the internet. Now, what I don't know is, does that mean that if I want this one here, it doesn't require a, a, a connection to the internet? And my, I guess my test is going to be if I. Well, I'm not sure it's a, it's a valid test because I just had it hooked up when it updated. Um, but let's see. Let's. I'm going to um, disconnect my Ethernet, and I'm going to attempt to install these drivers. So let's see if Broadcom can be made available without having access to the Internet. So I will disconnect. Hold on one second. <clears throat> okay, so now, as you can see, I'm disconnected from the Ethernet network. And I am going to attempt, and I'm not going to do the NVIDIA just yet, but I'm going to attempt to install Broadcom. and it needs an internet connection. So let's hook back up. <clears throat> and we will go through the process. As soon as I have internet access, I'm going to install Broadcom, NVIDIA, and Intel Microcode. I am connected. Let's apply the changes. Now, while I am doing that, let's get on to a couple of other subjects. When I installed, G, I installed just a few packages to do this video, and I installed GUVC View, Kazam, OpenShot, and SM Player. Now, interestingly, when I install those four at the same time, these three, Kazam, OpenShot, and SM Player, showed in my menu. GUVC View did not. I had to log back, log out, and log back in in order to see GUVC View in my um, menu. But ironically, when I 
typed GUVC view into a terminal, um, it was available, but it wasn't showing in the menu until I logged out and logged back in. Now this is a beta version, so I do expect some bugs, uh, but uh, that is a minor one uh, because the package did install and it was available to me, it just didn't show in the menu. Okay, so that while that's finishing up, I'm going to click on the update manager. Now the update manager, um, <clears throat> right out of the box, it's configured to install level one, level two, and level three. I recommend leaving it there. Don't go into fours and fives. Uh, that can uh, break your system. So play it safe, go into ones, twos, and threes. And it looks like uh, my drivers have been installed. So I'm going to restart the system and uh, I'll be right back with you and we'll check to see if those drivers actually function properly. Be right back with you guys. Okay, welcome back guys. So I rebooted and let's see if I have Broadcom. And I do. So what we'll do is we will connect to my Wi-Fi. Once I'm connected, then I will disconnect Ethernet. Now, let's take a look at NVIDIA. Okay, NVIDIA has 361.42, so we're good to go there. And let's take a look at the control center. Now, the control center is uh, quite comprehensive. It is the standard uh, MATE control center. Everything is here. Um, one of the things I did was when I went through the update process, I... I designated my um, software sources. I had it find the the fastest mirrors, and actually both the same mirror came up as uh, best for Sarah and best for Xenial, and that's the advanced hosters. So I'm staying with that. It seems to be pretty fast. Um, the update even though it was extensive, it was about 250 megabytes, um, it did uh, process fairly quickly. Okay, so get back to the control center. Everything is here. I don't see any uh, issues. Uh, your firewall, for example, <coughs> is easily configured. It's as simple as that. Um, appearance uh, it's using the mint X theme um, it does give you the option for minty dark and minty darker however when I designated that it did not provide a darkened menu it really distorted the menu to the point where it was not readable so I had to go back to mint X um, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, install arc theme and uh, Fienza icons and uh, see how that looks. The control center. Go to desktop settings. Marco and Compton. Interface I will leave alone. Terminal I will leave alone. Close that out. Now I'm going to check screen tearing. And this, you guys can't see it, but the screen tearing is eliminated. <clears throat> so Marco and Compton does the trick for me with my NVIDIA card. So I don't know how that's going to apply to you guys, but um, it's pretty easy. I'm going to close out the browser. It's pretty easy desktop settings. Windows, Marco, and Compton. 
terrific. Now the only thing I would change beyond this is the um, arc theme and Fienza icons. Now <clears throat> Fienza icons are available if I install them Fienza icon theme that should be readily available <clears throat> and we're going to let that install now the arc theme is available if I pull up my flash drive and I go into downloads the arc theme should be available and let's see okay so you see the arc theme here and I'm going to select Arc Theme Solid. I have it as a deb file. I'm going to open with GDebbie. <clears throat> and that should not take long to install. And that's why it's helpful to have all of your commonly used themes, icons, applications um, as deb files on a on a uh, on a flash drive. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to log out. Let's take a look. So I've got Arc available and I've got Arc Arc Dark Arc Darker. Let's take a look. If I go to Arc Dark and you see the menu is not um, is not changing I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log back in and let's go to customize I have arc dark colors are correct window border correct icons Fienza Okay, so let's log out and then log back in and see if that menu has been updated. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back and uh, as you can see, the menu has not updated. And so I'm going to go back to the standard theme except I'm going to use the aqua or the aqua and let's go to customize make sure everything is back to default and the menu is back to normal so um, there's a little bit of uh, glitch there in the theming uh, everything conformed to the dark theme except the, the main menu. And so I think that about wraps up this overview of uh, Linux Mint 18, the Mate desktop. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.